So Google just released the Chrome DevTools MCP server and it can do a lot of different things, but there's one thing that I discovered that it can do that actually solves a huge problem. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And that problem is, you know sometimes like when you're working on a design in the browser, maybe you have live reload on, you're in cursor, and you wanna make a change to the CSS and you get out the dev tools and you make a change to the CSS in Chrome and then you refresh it and those changes don't persist, right? They just, they don't get saved to the files. Well, the dev tools MCP server actually solves that exact problem, which is insane. So I'm gonna show you a use case and I show you exactly how to get that set up. So here I am in Figma and I'm going to right click this little, I. Uh, design here over here and I'm going to copy link to selection. Now this is the new uh, Figma MCP server setup, which is freaking awesome. I'm gonna be covering that very shortly. I, I need more time to work with it though. But when I do that and I have a new instance here, by the way, notice we have Chrome DevTools enabled. For this first prompt, we don't need it, but we're gonna use it shortly. But to show you how to integrate Chrome DevTools, you just have, right up here, this is the area that you just wanna specify these. I, these four lines right here, Chrome DevTools. And if you have problems lurking that, like getting that to work, like for instance, like I'm on Windows 11 and it wouldn't work. It's because I, my node version was 22. You need to be 22, uh, above 22, like version 23. Anyway, um, then you can see I have my Figma MCP server here, which is what we're gonna use. So all I'm gonna do is say, uh, I'm gonna link this. I'm gonna say, integrate this drop down menu from Figma with the Figma MCP server in an index.html file. All right, so it's done. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to have it open up this index.html file with the DevTools MCP server that we just integrated. So what I'll say right down here is integrate or open up the index.html file with uh, the DevTools MCP server. Okay, so here it is. You can see right here, Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. So it's not like a typical browser window. Um, this is this is basically basically kind of what I wanted almost uh, because I didn't grab the the actual background color. One of the things you might be intrigued to do, like in the past, is hit Control Shift I. You can open up the elements area and we have all these CSS properties that we can then adjust. Now, for instance, let's say we wanna change the background color to a specific color, right? Um, I could say background and then paste this in. Okay, now when you make that change, which we just did right here, and we hit refresh, it doesn't persist. It doesn't get saved to your code base. People who've been in the know understand this for millennia, right? Well, if I make that change again, I just say background and paste the same thing. And then I go back to the uh, to cursor and I say, I just made a CSS change via the dev inspector in Chrome, integrate those changes to our code. So what it will do is it's gonna use the MCP server for DevTools and it's going to analyze all the properties and compare you know, the differences between the code base that exists in index.html and what exists in the Chrome DevTools uh, in the Dev Inspector that I integrated. And so now you can see the change has actually persisted. If I refresh, Guess what? It, it, it works, the, the background changes. Now I know that doesn't sound like a big deal, it's just one CSS property. We could have done that in the, the CSS uh, ourselves, but if you have a bunch of properties and you wanna change a bunch of things here in the Dev Inspector without having to try to find, especially if a large project with you have a bunch of component files, CSS is scattered everywhere, you don't wanna have to do a file search, it's a lot quicker. Just open up the Dev Tools and the Inspector and make your changes here in the layout and then don't refresh, make sure you don't refresh because you'll lose all of them. And you go back to the uh, cursor or wherever else you're using the, the DevTools MCP server and just tell it to pull the changes and guess what? It'll, it'll add it to wherever it's necessary in your code base, depending on your project structure, and it will persist those changes. So now you can truly design in the browser 
and not lose those uh, code changes. It doesn't have to be a temporary thing. That is a huge advantage for using and a use case for using the DevTools MCP server. Now, of course, there's 26 different tools as a part of this DevTools MCP server, which enable you to do a bunch of other stuff. For instance, I, I could tell it to interact with the page. So if I just say, click on the active dropdown menu and change it to disabled, uh, it will do it. So I could say, click on the active dropdown menu and change it to the disabled option. All right, so watch what ends up happening. So it says called click. It's going to call take snapshot. It clicked on it. Now it's gonna find disabled and there we go. So now it's able to interact with your UI and it's gonna confirm that it changed it successfully. So it calls all these different tools to ensure that it works. And that is freaking cool because then in the context of a real project, you can tell it to interact with your UI elements and do certain things and like input, like put text into text fields and all that and hit send. And that way you can kind of test your software and see if there's any errors that show up in the console based on emulating these user tests. This is really cool. There's other tools like there, like Playwright that does the same thing. But being that this is from you know, Chrome itself, the, the makers of the browser that most people use, this is definitely something that I'm gonna be using in the future. So make sure to subscribe. I just wanted to share that tidbit today because this is something I'm gonna be using uh, indefinitely through every project. Now when I have little design tweaks for sure, I'll be able to make them in the browser, tell uh, the cursor to integrate those changes, find the changes and then integrate them, persist them in the actual code. And it just works. And this solved a huge problem that has existed for decades. You know, you try to make changes in the damn server or in the browser, you refresh and you lose them. It's like, well, that sucks. Well, that's no longer a problem now. All right, everybody, make sure to subscribe. I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.